Hello everyone, welcome back to another Torchlight Infinite video. <clears throat> I'm sorry a little bit about the silence of the past few days. I've been uh, trying to figure out what to do with uh, with the character. With most of the changes, a lot of things are way different on how you want to build uh, minions. And uh, one of the most important things is minions keep on dying unless you do certain things. And here's mostly where I'm going to be talking about in the video is ways that you can you can make your way easier into playing um, Order Calling Moto. Order Calling Moto is, I would say, decently strong. I don't I don't think it's doing too bad uh, in terms of of DPS and progression. It's not overpowered like uh, like I think I think there are a few outliers classes that are hitting already. Uh, cap dummy with with very few investment. Moto uh, is still very much a high investment character, but that didn't really change. It was already that way um, last season. And that is reflected very much in in the affixes, uh, the way damage comes from. Um, damage got shifted from the tree into gear. And um, I'll show you. So first of all, um, I switched to machine guards out of Green Phantom simply because I dropped a Farewell Desire. And uh, it felt to me like a waste, like a waste not to use it at the moment because it was uh, somewhat expensive. Right now, it's very cheap, so all the more reason why I think uh, the way you should play uh, Moto at the moment is Farewell Desire with either Spider Tanks. Spider Tanks is stronger than Machine Guards, um, you no, know? but uh, but I I wanted to play Machine Guards, so that's the only reason why um, the gearing, the tree, it's almost the same. You just switch the aura for uh, precise, precise projectiles, and uh, you switch the supports for projectile supports, and and that's it. It's almost entirely the same thing. But um, I wanted I wanted to play uh, machine guards because I have never used them before. Now, um, the issue that you might run to is that your minions die even with last stand because um, the overload cooldown got changed from like I think it was like eight seconds to twelve seconds. And now it only lasts four seconds, and uh, you need this passive to max out to have like a hundred percent overload uptime. And uh, overload uptime makes it so minions can be in last stand forever and not die. But when you're mapping, your minions will lose the last stand and die, and you have to keep summoning them. So uh, one of the ways that I think uh, people have already figured out how to fix this is you switch from uh, last stand into toughest nails and you switch the last trade to go for broke now go for broke says that every time the minions uh gain overload they take erosion damage based on their max hp so let me remove this quick so i can show you what that looks like you'll see the number on their head and right now i have i have a lot of regen because i'm using uh the precise precise rejuvenation to actually help with that issue um but that's no longer required. Now it's precise rejuvenation just for me because I like high region characters. But as you can see, every time they get overload, they will take a massive amount of damage. And when they're that low, they're going to die, you know, to whatever the enemy hits them with. So that's erosion damage. So what you do is you get a slate like this that has uh, this mod. Minions, uh, max life, regen, 1.6 life per second, and minions are immune to erosion damage. Uh, that way... You now have minions that can permanently stay in high HP. Now, of course, that is incompatible with the with this armor. Uh, so you will probably switch from Endless Fortress because there's almost no point on using Endless Fortress if you're not having minions go low life. A good alternative is Void Embarkment because 120 all stats is uh, the that actually double dips with. Uh, machine guards because they scale with both strength and intelligence as opposed to the green phantoms who only scale with intelligence so it's only so it's only a little uh it's only better with green or um or spider tanks who also scale with dex and intelligence and you get you get a bunch of elemental resistances too so um i have 69 70 i'm using uh the Prisa the elemental resistance aura and this cold is coming from this support uh, summon for spirit of cold ward that makes them give plus one and I think I think that this at max level goes to 
like um, plus three or plus two point something max cold resistance, something like that. Uh, but you know, I, I will need to, to level it up and I haven't been able to get enough of this material for that. Uh, but you can like, seems like you can feed these. Oh no, it's for you to, to actually switch what you're, what you're leveling up, but you still need the, the material thing. Okay. Uh, now let's go over a uh, complete setup. The tree remains the same. I may have move, moved some stuff around. It's all going to be in the code. So I'm not really going to go over too much over the tree. It's just whatever points you get, you put them into more damage, more utility, more of whatever you want, honestly. Uh, the statue, this has changed. I bought myself an isomorphic arms and uh, I had the, the, I bought this one with a multi-strike damage. So uh, pretty good. And uh, this mod is not too bad. And uh, yeah, the fervor rating does nothing for me. Then uh, I got a plus one here. Probably need to get another. I need to change the, the slate setup because that, that's the, the other thing that I, that I wanted to go over is that um, same way you're getting minions immune to erosion damage, you can make them immune to all damage. There is, if you go to the trade house, I already have like a, uh, this is the condition. So immune to cold, immune to fizz, immune to lightning, immune to fire. Uh, you can get them on like, on like the pedigrees or you can get them on corners or, um, I think falling starlights can have them too. Uh, yeah, something like that. This, this sadly already got sold. I would have definitely purchased that one. And and it had the the other mod that I wanted, so uh, that's that's one of the options that I I think would be very good for gearing. Like, look at this one, it's decent. Uh, you're getting two useful mods, and it's only a two slot um, slate, so you can fit like three of these in the space that you will fit one of the regular slates. So I think this is the way to go. And because I believe that uh, charge forward is more damage, and uh, last stand is pretty good damage once leveled. But uh, without the overload duration, they will die regardless. So, you know, having them immune to all damage leaves you more uh, room to toy around with the diff different setups. So, um, then uh, I got the uh, conversion to lightning damage from this late. You can get them, you can get it if you go, if you decide to go Blade Runner instead of Warlock, you can get that there. And the Blade Runner is more damage. But Warlock is more defense and utility because you're getting a plus to all levels, which includes your defensive and your auras. Then for skills is Machine Guard, Steamroll, Multi-Strike, and Maniacal Army. These are... So well, these three are set in stone completely. These are irreplaceable, I think. Uh, Assault Command is pretty good because the belt allows me to be at max command. I will see how that would change if I go for like a... Um, like, you know, the regular belt, the, got the name of that one. Winter foraging. This is, yeah, this is, this is the usual belt that you get. And now, now you need to stack a lot more focus blessings. Um, but you can get up to 90% additional damage. So it requires a little bit more setup to, to build into Winter of Origin. But I shall see if that uh, command, uh, assault command, remains a good thing with that. But it's pretty good. It's a decent-ish additional damage and uh, flat crit rating. Maniacal Army, because I need the, the plus one. Because I removed the, uh, the other armor. And this one is kind of a flex slot. I've been testing like elemental fusion here. The they changed the shock, but I don't, I don't think it's working <clears throat> properly because it's supposed to stack. But on the dummy, I never see more than one stack. Uh, see, it goes to one, and then sometimes that once gets refreshed immediately, but it never go, goes above one. So I don't, I don't know about that one. That's why I'm not using any like uh, numbed or shock supports. Uh, crit damage could be good, but I don't, I don't, my minions don't have enough crit chance to warrant using this. Recklessness is good, um, you know, but it's, it's very difficult to know exactly what, what the best one is. 
because I'm using a sword, I am doing Spiral Strike with Harden for a little bit more defense. Machine Army, uh, Electrocute, and I'm doing cost conversion here because there's no other good support, honestly, for, for, for curses. And um, I have almost all my mana reserved, so you know I, I want to be able to cast my skills. I would do it here, but these two are good, and the cooldown reduction is good. And here, same thing. I'm, I'm automating this with preparation. Um, I think it's 100% uptime on the Frost Shield. Frost Shield is, uh, I think, pretty much the, the, the best defensive skill, all things considered. Uh, Force Start is good if you're full ES, but, um, you know, I'm hybrid, so I will always go Frost Shield. And uh, this is the other thing I made. I, I switched to Elemental Resistance because uh, now it gives max LA res and um, LA res, like the old Precise Elemental used to give. So this is insanely strong for for defense. Like, um, you will you will go from uh, being one shot every map to pretty much not dying um, while regular mapping, unless you run into a very uh, a very OP rare with uh, strong mods. <clears throat> then uh, precise fearless is rather cheap at the moment, so uh, might as well get it. This one, the difference between this and the regular Phyllis is that it has tax speed. Not much. Um, 8% is, is okay. Uh, Frost Spirits, I'm doing... Uh, that's one of the other reasons why I wanted to switch from low life to, uh, to actual life minions, is that the Frost Spirits uh, are applying Grudge, which are using Grudge, which applies Paralyze when I cross the enemy. This is a 15% increased damage taken to the enemy, and I can make them blind enemies, which uh 20% chance to miss. Pretty good uh, support. And you lose that because when the minions go on low life and uh, they have last stand, they cannot regen life, which means they cannot go back to full life to start doing stuff again. So what will happen is they will get to low life, they get a hit, that means they, they start getting into the recovery phase but they never recover, so they just up, uh, they just hover around doing nothing. Um, but this way, I actually have grudge and I actually have blinding, which, in the end, is more damage and more defense. And I'm using precise rejuve to for me and for the minions. I think it's pretty good. Another one you could put here is precise swiftness, or um, you know, if you have more reservation, you you would probably put another damage aura here instead. <clears throat> for candles, I'm doing CDR and uh, skill effect duration at the moment uh, i haven't purchased any good candles yet uh the damage is you know around there this is yeah i think yeah, this is the dps setup so it's half, half half a billion uh not too bad this is enough for 48 mapping i'll show you a tm map after i go over the rest of the setup um then for trades I'm doing this one, which has intelligence, minion cast speed, uh, which is not what I want in minion, but it has. Uh... Actually, these two stats are pretty much or worthless. The only reason I have it is because it gives me a level two trait. So um, I would definitely search to uh, to change that for another memory. Uh, this one is evasion and minion damage. Again, not what I would want because I'm not scaling evasion. Um, I would probably want life or energy shield here, and uh, here I want movement speed. I 100% want movement speed, and I'm very close to being able to max this out to get this level, uh, this straight to level two, which will give me uh six percent more overload effect. Additional, by the way. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much for the setup. Let me show you a quick map. I'm doing I'm doing T8s. Uh, this is not massive T8 speed. Again, because I think so, half a billion damage. It's good, while good is not um, not extremely speedy for T8. But um, as some of you may have noticed, uh, FEs don't drop at all in T7. So if you can do T8, even if it's at half the speed of T7, you will still make more currency per hour, I think, from running well probably not half the speed that'll be that'll be too slow but if you're if you're 
uh, 20% lower on T8 than on T7, you will still make more currency per hour doing T8. As you can see, they don't they don't die anymore. I don't have to resummon them. I just I just use the skill to to proc the overload for more damage. And using machine army every now and then, and using and applying the curse when I get into the tanky rares like this. But they I don't have a problem with them dying. The region is good. Uh, double region from the supports and the aura. Life regeneration speed. And that's the boss. You can see it's paralyzed and stuff. And I get two uh, beacons. Pretty good. Almost or sustaining T8 right now. All right. So um, I'm going to be uh, making a build call this time. I'm going to leave that in the comments. So um, I'm sorry I, I didn't leave it on the, on, on the other one. Uh, I did create it, but I didn't really feel uh, too sure about the setup i think this is good for starter because this is extremely cheap uh but everyone it, it's doing spider tank and it's for a reason <clears throat> okay sorry about that we're not doing spider tank and it's for 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 a decently good reason i think spider tank is better oh um silly i think i didn't went over the gear uh apologies okay let's go over that uh, Fiend Crown pretty much undefeated in this slot before you craft a GG item. Attack speed, movement speed, resistance, sealed mana, crit damage, and lucky damage. It's it's fu it's fucking strong. Uh, just just get uh, Fiend Crown. Uh, Sage Necklace. Uh, there is another base that has. I think there's a higher base with 24 intelligence. It's more expensive. And right now, I'm what I'm getting is just stats as prefix for multiplicative damage and then resistances. Uh, same thing in the gloves. I'm going in this one, I'm going ES and life because I'm hybrid. I have, you know, 1.3k ES and 3.4k life. Uh, the reason I went hybrid is because uh, so the other armor had ES, uh, but in general, you're. you're you have to use this ES piece and I had to use the other armor piece. So that's why I decided to go hybrid. Now that I'm using Void Environment, a Void Environment doesn't really give a high amount of armor. So that's one thing that is bad about this is defensively mediocre in my opinion. But it's so much damage that um, I, th I, think it, I think it's worth it for a while. Um, and I my... I might just forsake energy shield entirely and just go completely into HP. So uh, maybe switch these pieces for armor instead of energy shield pieces and go armor, armor, and, and, and life. But, um, you know, this one, uh, Mind Infusion, it's, you, you already know how good it is. You get Dark Gate for free, and you get uh, movement speed for you and the minions, and you get, you get up, to, up to plus two skill levels, which I think I could reroll if I ever... If I ever get uh, Dark Search, I want to corrode this to plus 12 as well. But this is the way we're keeping the command up to almost 100. Pretty good. And uh, these two rings I crafted with the, uh, like, um, these FEs that you cannot really change, you should use to craft items. Uh, level 86 items. Level 100, you're not going to be uh, able to afford them. But these 86 for sure. And you can actually get tier 1 modifiers here. So what I'm getting here is uh, minion physical damage, added physical damage, max life, and uh, max energy shield. You can get something else here again if you're if if not going hybrid, which I I would probably not go. It's uh, region, life, region, speed, or just uh, flat out minion damage or armor. Any any of those would be good. And then for suffixes, you definitely want minion crit damage and uh, two resistances. So I'm doing that not on both yet because I, I, I ran out of these FEs but I would definitely try to roll this for uh, I can't roll minion crit damage here because I have the advanced intelligence here instead with the physical so that's why I have crit rating here but yeah you have to um, you know toy around those the shield I haven't changed uh, it has the restore yes on shield uh, a little bit of attack and spell block uh, block is not a huge 
defensive mechanic for me at the moment because it's 21% chance to take 30% less damage. I mean, it's somewhat decent. In general, I think sh um, I think it's good, but I wouldn't see why using a a you know like a, a cane here with like minion double damage would be a decent option for more damage but you can get resistances here so that's that's a good thing but once i sort of the gear i will decide if i'm gonna stick with the shield uh shields have good modifiers on 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 the high end you can get plus two levels you can get um up to 100 percent minion damage you can get um penetration elemental and armor which is one of the few sources where you can actually roll that and uh but this is a level 100 mod sadly so you know you're gonna be stuck with uh like the uh like these mods uh minion damage here at 86 uh, would be good on on another shield and again if instead of going hybrid you go like armor or 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 evasion probably armor is better then uh you have the suffixes free to do something else and the farewell desire which ideally you want to corrupt road i think is this mod which gives you um uh, multi-strike count initial multi-strike count or this one of these is is a good mod and you know almost every corrosion it's gonna be beneficial even the prefixes ones because you can get like increased damage as well and i haven't done dream crafting because i don't think i've dropped uh dream pieces even though uh i, I have been doing a lot of a lot of um nightmare and that's one of the other things i think i think nightmare got nerfed too much or, or i don't know if it's the like the general loot that got nerfed but nightmare uh, was very underwhelming to the point where i decided not to do it anymore so i'm gonna i'm just focusing now on 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 these this is what i'm gonna be doing and this i'm not selling because i know this is bound to increase in price as soon as people actually start getting into um the last month of of Missville, I'll just hold on to this for them to go up a little bit, and uh, yeah, with that I think I've covered everything for the build. Uh, this so this mapping was done with just uh, farming, farming spirits. I have Kong. I don't think Kong is huge. Well, maybe now that I'm doing T8, Kong would be a little bit more uh, impactful. But in T7, I. I don't think I dropped any cards whatsoever. So kind of a waste of Kong. And in this thing, I mean I've done uh ten eighty eight, which is uh eleven at the moment. This guy is uh decently geared, he has a breast spin and uh doing a lot, but you know, uh, most of these guys are spiders. That's why I'm telling you, spiders are probably way better, still better than than machine guards, even after they the the bonus damage they had, which went down from six percent to three percent, was nerfed. So, and all of these are spiders with farewell desire. So, you know, pretty much, uh, pretty much the same setup, and yeah, a multi strike damage, getting like the plus ones here. That's what you want to do, and. This guy is doing last end, so he's probably still having to deal with minus nine. Once he gets this to level fifty, it's gonna be like plus plus two uh, trait level. So that's probably gonna give him enough overload duration for the minions to not die. And this is another thing: uh, crafted armors, uh, the the crafted modifiers are are pretty good to the point where once you can get your hands into a decently crafted chest piece, I will. I will definitely shift away from Void Embankment. Because you know it's just stats. It's nothing else. The defensive on it are pretty mediocre. Alright. That's all I had that's all I had for today. Uh thank you very much for watching. The build code is gonna be in the description. I'm gonna actually try to um add some uh, some sections to this. It was a little bit unstructured, but overall not too disorderly, I hope, and not too difficult to follow. Um, if you're playing Moto, I would really like to know how you're doing, how you're liking the class. I know charge calling is a little bit uh, not great, but order calling, I think it's pretty good. And I, I, and, and I think there's a very compelling case to uh, put more time into this character and, and max it out. Um, all right. Thank you.
and have a great day.